Hello and welcome to Replacement Player Baseball. Today the Cubs are going to face off against the Phillies in game two of this four game series. In today's game, the Cubs are going to be sending Lance McCullers out to the mound. He's going to be looking to shake off a rough start his last time out. Making start number 19, McCullers has a 10-3 record with a 394 ERA and a 132 whip. The Cubs lineup today is going to be a little bit different because we're going to see both Santana and Tauschman in today's game again. This time Tauschman will be playing left, Santana will be playing first, and I think that'll work out pretty well. So now, <clears throat> the Cubs lineup today is going to be Horner, Santana, Correa, Harper, Springer, Bryant, Tauschman, Ramos, and McCullers batting ninth. For the Phillies, Vince Velazquez will be on the mound, making start number 17. He has an 8-4 record with 327 ERA and a 111 whip. The Phillies lineup will be very similar to yesterday, including Segura, McCutcheon, Bohm, Real Muto, O'Neill, Hazley, Galvis, Kingery, and Velazquez batting ninth. It is 67 degrees, and the wind has shifted, blowing out to right today at 10 MPH. And it is time to get today's game underway. Yesterday, the Cubs snapped a losing streak, and now they're going to try to build on that success against the Phillies in today's outing. McCullers on the mound facing Segura in the top of the first inning. McCullers looking for the sign. He has a 2-2 count on Segura. He gets the sign. And here is the, oh, he steps back off the rubber. And now here is the windup. And a grounder towards second. Horner has it. He throws to first. That's out number one. McCutcheon now the batter. One out, nobody on. McCullers facing McCutcheon with a one-strike count. And here it comes. McCutcheon drives it to right, chasing his Harper. He's going to make the play for out number two. Bohm now the batter with two outs and nobody on. McCullers working with a one-ball count. Here is the pitch. And a pop up to left. Coming in fast is Tauschman. He looks up and makes the play to end the inning. So McCullers works a 1 2 3 first to go to the bottom of the first of a scoreless ball game. Nico Horner leading off for the Cubs against Vince Velazquez. Here is the first pitch to Nico Horner. He is looking for the sign. Here it comes. Horner pops it up to right. Deep, but it's going to be playable as the catch is made short of the warning track for out number one. That ball certainly did carry in the wind out to right, but it did not get deep enough. Danny Santana on the batter. One out, nobody on. Velazquez working with a one and two count. And Santana swings and misses at the changeup for out number two. So now Correa comes up to bat with two outs and nobody on. Correa waiting for the one ball pitch. Here it comes. Liner past the shortstop into left field. Correa pulls it into left for a single with two outs in the first inning. And now Bryce Harper the batter. Two outs, one man on. Velazquez facing Harper with a 2-2 count. And Harper drives in the gap in left center field. Harper did a nice job of going the opposite way with that one. He's going to have extra bases. Stopping at second. Oh, no, he's going for third. He is going to have an RBI triple as the Cubs take the 1-0 lead here in the bottom of the first inning. Harper with the RBI triple. And Correa coming around to score. So now Springer is the batter. With two outs and the runner 90 feet away, Velazquez working with a full count. Here is the pitch to Springer. That is strike three called at the knees, and the inning is over. So the Cubs score once. We go to the top of the second of a one nothing ball game. Ramuto facing McCullers in the top of the second. Two and one is the count. McCullers delivers. Ground ball up the middle. The shift is on. The second baseman playing directly behind second base. Picks it up and throws to first. Front number one. O'Neal now batting with one out, nobody on. McCullers working with a one and two count. Here is the pitch to O'Neal, and he drives it in the left field, chasing his 
Tauschman, he's going to play it on the hop, and that is a single in the top of the second inning with one out for the Phillies. So with O'Neill on first, Hazley is the next batter. We are going to throw over to first and see if we can catch him napping. He scampers back safely. McCullough is now facing Hazley with a one and two count. There's a pop up to center. Going back is Springer. He is going to stop at the warning track and make the play for out number two. Galvis now the batter. Two outs, one man on. McCullough's working with a 1-1 one, one count. And it's a drive to left center field, chasing his Springer again, and he makes the play to end the inning. So the Phillies strand a runner. They do not score. We're going to the bottom of the second of a 1-0 ball game. Bryant stepping up to the plate against Velazquez in the bottom of the second. One and two is the count. Here is the pitch to Chris Bryant. And he lines it up the middle. That's a single for Chris Bryant. He might just be starting to get on track here. He had a home run in yesterday's game, and now a base hit in his first at-bat today. Tauschman now the batter. Runner on first, nobody out. Two and two is the count. Right. Tauschman swings and misses for strike three. That is strikeout number two, number one. No, strikeout number three for Velazquez, first out of the inning. Ramos now the batter. Runner on first, one out. One and two is the count. And Ramos swings and misses at a curveball that was inside for out number two. And McCullers now comes up to the plate. McCullers is eight for 33 with four RBIs on the season, having a really kind of a productive season at the plate. McCullers facing Velazquez with a two strike count. Here it comes, and he lines it up the middle. That's a base hit. Bryant rounding second, heading, oh no, he's gonna stop at second. And now with the single, the Cubs have first and second with two outs. Nico Horner now the batter. Bottom of the second inning, Cubs up by one, looking for more. Horner waiting for the one strike pitch. And that's a grounder toward first, picked up and flipped to the pitcher covering and that is gonna be the third out of the inning. So the Cubs strand two. We go to the top of the third of a one nothing ball game. Kingery now facing McCullers in the top of the third. McCullers working with a two and one count. Here is the pitch. And a grounder toward short. Correa charges. He has it. He throws to first, and that's out number one. Velazquez the batter. One out, nobody on. First pitch to Velazquez. Here it comes. And a grounder toward third. Bryant fields cleanly. He throws over to first. Gets him by a step for out number two. Segura now the batter. Two outs and nobody on. First pitch to Segura. McCullers delivers. Liner up the middle, that's going to be a base hit. A two-out single for Segura gives the Phillies a runner in the top of the third inning. And now McCutcheon's a batter. Two outs, one man on. Two and two is the count. Swing and a miss for strike three. McCullers gets the punch out to end the inning. We go now to the bottom of the third. The Cubs are up by one. Santana facing Velazquez in the bottom of the third inning. Two and two is the count. Here is the pitch, and he pops it up to left. Santana going the opposite way with that one, but the left fielder making the play for out number one. Correa now the batter, one out, nobody on. Velazquez working with a one and two count. Here is the pitch, and Correa swings and misses at a curve for strike three. Second out of the inning, strikeout number five for Vincent Velazquez, and it brings up Bryce Harper. Two outs, nobody on. Harper waiting for the full count pitch. Here it comes. High for ball four. Bryce Harper draws the two out walk and that will bring up George Springer. Springer over one today, facing Velazquez with two outs and a runner on first. One and two is the count. And Springer strikes out looking right at the knees. That is out number three. The Cubs stranding a runner. We go to the top of the fourth. Still one nothing here in Chicago. Bohm is the batter. He's facing McCullough from the top of the fourth inning. One ball is the count. Here's the pitch. Driven right center field. That is going to clear the wall. Bohm has just hit a monster home run out to left center. 427 feet, and that is going to be a tie ball game here in the top of the fourth inning. As the ball makes its way back into the outfield, that must have been a kid with a really good arm. So... Real Muto now the batter in this newly tied ball game in the top of the fourth inning. McCullers working with a one and two count. Here is the pitch to Real Muto. 
and a liner past the third baseman down the left field line. That's going to be another base hit. Tauschman cuts it off. He throws into the cutoff man. The throw goes to second, but Real Muto has the double here in the top of the fourth inning. And now O'Neill is the batter. With a runner on second, nobody out. McCullers working with a one and two count. Here is the pitch. Popped up to left. Tauschman chases toward the line. He's going to make the play for out number one. The runner retreats to second. And now Hazley is the batter. One out, one man on. McCullers working with a one ball count. Popped up to left again, this time chasing. Catching it in the air is Tauschman for out number two. Galvis now the batter, two outs, runner on second. Top of the fourth inning, Galvis facing McCullers. One and two is the count. And there's a pop up to left center. Tauschman chasing, but he is gonna be called off by Springer who makes the play to end the inning. The Phillies do tie the ball game on the solo home run. We go to the bottom of the fourth of a 1-1 one, 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 one contest. Chris Bryant stepping up to the plate. He's one for one today. Going to lead off the bottom of the fourth inning against Vince Velasquez. One strike is the count. Here's the pitch to Bryant. And he pops it up to right. Coming in is the right fielder. It's a short play, and he makes it for out number one. Tauschman now the batter. One out, nobody on. Velazquez working to Tauschman. Here's the pitch. Line down the right field line. That's going to be extra bases. It goes all the way down in the corner. Tauschman rounding first, heading for second. He is going to slide into second with a one-out double here in the bottom of the fourth inning. So the Cubs with the go-ahead run on base. And now Wilson Ramos, the batter, with one out in the bottom of the fourth inning. Ramos facing Velazquez. Here is the three and one count and the pitch, and that is outside for ball four. So Ramos draws the walk, and now McCullers comes up to the plate. McCullers is gonna be asked to lay down the sacrifice here. Let's see what happens if he can advance the runners. We really don't want a double play. Here's the one ball pitch. The bunt is laid down toward the mound. Pitcher has it, he throws to first, and that'll be a successful sacrifice as the runners advance to second and third. Corner now the batter, he's 0 for 2 today. Facing Velazquez with two men on, two outs, tie ball game in the bottom of the fourth inning. Velazquez working, two strike count. Here is the pitch to Horner. And Horner swings and misses for strike three. So the inning is over. The Cubs strand two, we go to the top of the fifth of a 1-1 tie. McCullers now facing Kingery in the top of the fifth inning. Full count. McCullers delivers. Swing and a miss for strike three. That is out number one. McCullers with two strikeouts on the day. And now he's facing Velazquez. One out, nobody on. First pitch to Velazquez. Grounded towards short. Correa has it. He throws to first. A strong throw retires the runner for up number two. Segura now the batter. He is one for two today, facing McCullers with two outs, nobody on in the top of the fifth inning. Full count, here's the pitch. Check swing, ball four is called. So a two out walk puts the go ahead run on base for the Phillies and it brings up Andrew McCutcheon. Top of the fifth inning. McCullers working, three and one count. Here's the pitch. Outside again for ball four. So McCullers, Issues back-to-back -back walks in the top of the fifth, and now Bohm is the batter. Two outs, two men on, top of the fifth inning. We're gonna warm up a reliever. It is going to be, we're gonna warm up Moya, and we're gonna warm up Fernandez, in case we need somebody to come in. We're gonna visit the mound. Everybody's warming up. He says he hasn't broken a sweat yet. Well, his manager is breaking a sweat because there's two men on in a tie ball game in the top of the fifth inning, and he's just issued two consecutive walks. McCullers working with a one ball count. Here's the pitch. Popped up, foul territory. Chasing is Ramos, and he makes the catch to end the inning. So thankfully, the Phillies do not score. They strand two. We're going to the bottom of the fifth of a 1-1 ball game. The relief pitchers are going to sit back down. And now Santana facing Velazquez in the bottom of the fifth inning. One ball is the count. 
Here's the pitch. Lined in the left field, that is gonna drop in for a leadoff single. Santana stopping at first with a base hit in the bottom of the fifth inning, bringing up Carlos Correa. We're gonna be looking for a spot to run here. Real Muto, he, he is a really good catcher. Really good defensive catcher. I don't know what we're gonna do here. We're actually gonna try a run and hit and see what happens. Correa is gonna be sent up there swinging at the first pitch. Let's see what we can do. He does not swing, the throw goes down to second, and the throw goes into center field, so Santana's gonna advance all the way to third on the error. Wow. So we were just talking about what a good defender Real Muto is, and he airmails one into center field. So now the Cubs have the go-ahead run on third base in the bottom of the fifth inning with nobody out. Correa facing Velazquez with a one and two count, and strike three is called. That is a slider right at belt high. Velazquez now has eight strikeouts in the game. It brings up Bryce Harper. One out, one man on. Velazquez working with a three and one count. And that is inside for ball four, so Harper draws the walk. As he heads down to first, Springer comes up to the plate. Runners on the corners, one out. Bottom of the fifth inning, Velazquez working with a one and one count. And Springer grounds it over to third. The throw goes to second, the relay to first, and that is a 5-4-3 double play. So the Cubs cannot capitalize on the error. We go to the top of the sixth of a one-one ball game. McCullers now facing Real Muto at the top of the sixth inning. The game is tied at one. McCullers working with a one and two count and a pop-up behind shortstop. Correa going into short left field to make the play for out number one. O'Neal now the batter, one out, nobody on. McCullers working with a one and one count. Here is the pitch. Popped up, short center field. Coming in is Springer. He looks up and makes the play for out number two. Hazley now the batter, two outs and nobody on. McCullers working with a two strike count. Here is the pitch to Hazley. And he pops him up to center field again, chasing his Springer toward the warning track. The catch is made to end the inning. So the Phillies go down in order. We go to the bottom of the sixth of a 1-1 ball game. And now McCullers is due up fourth this inning. If anybody gets on base, we will be pinch hitting for him. Bryant facing Velazquez, bottom of the sixth. Three and one is the count. Bryant takes low for ball four. So that is a leadoff walk. As Bryant heads down to first, it brings up Tauschman. And I'll tell you, the temptation here is to bunt with Tauschman against Velazquez. I actually think that's probably the right thing to do. We're also going to warm up Liam Hendricks to potentially pitch in the seventh inning. Now, Tauschman is going to be asked to lay down the bunt and see what he can do with this. He bunts it back toward the mound. The pitcher has it. He throws to second to get the lead runner because Tauschman bunted it basically right at the pitcher. So now with one out, we have a runner on first, and Ramos is the bat. Bottom of the sixth inning. Lack of execution hurting the Cubs right there. And Velasquez facing Ramos. Here comes the pitch. Driven into left field, that is gonna drop in for another base hit. Stopping at second is Tauschman. The Cubs now have first and second with one out in the bottom of the sixth inning. And McCullers comes up, and this is where we're gonna get the pinch hitter. The pinch hitter is going to be Anthony Rizzo. Rizzo coming off the bench to bat with first and second and one out in the bottom of the sixth inning. Velazquez facing Rizzo. Here is the one and two count. Rizzo waiting for the pitch, and he drives it into center field. That's gonna drop in for a base hit. Rounding third and heading home is Tauschman. He's gonna slide in and score, and the Rizzo gives the Cubs a two to one lead here in the bottom of the sixth inning. Rizzo with an RBI single. He is now at 56 RBIs on the season. And now, Horner comes up to the plate with one out, two men on and Zach Wheeler comes out of the Phillies bullpen with 23 innings thrown. He has four walks, 15 strikeouts, and a 5.09 ERA. 
Wheeler facing Horner in the bottom of the sixth inning with one out, two men on. Here is the one and one count and the pitch to Horner. Wheeler looking for the sign and delivering. Horner grounds it towards short. The throw goes to second, the relay to first. And that's a 6-4, three double play, which is gonna end the inning. However, not before the Cubs take the lead, they, we're going in to the top of the seventh inning in a two to one ball game. And now Liam Hendricks is coming out of the Cubs bullpen to pitch. Here in the top of the seventh inning. We were going to use a spreadsheet to explain to you all the different reasons why Liam Hendricks should be pitching in this situation, but we'll leave that to your imagination. So now, Hendricks comes in with a 5-0 record. He has 43 in the third innings thrown, 9 walks, 56 strikeouts, and a 1.87 ERA. Galvis, Kingery, and Wheeler are due up in this half inning. Hendricks working with a one ball count. He is looking for the sign and delivering the pitch. And a pop up toward third base. Calling for it is Bryant. He makes the play for out number one. Kingery now the batter. One out, nobody on. Hendricks working with a full count. Here is the pitch. And Kingery swings and misses for strike three. So the fastball at 99 sets down Kingery. And now Rognad Odor comes off the Phillies bench. He has five home runs, 17 RBIs, and a 270 batting average. He's gonna face Hendricks with two outs and nobody on in the top of the seventh inning. Hendricks working with a 2-2 count. Here is the pitch to Odor. And a drive to right. Going back is Harper. He is gonna run out of room. That is a home run for Odor, which ties the game at two in the top of the seventh inning. So Liam Hendricks, Gives up the solo home run. It brings up Segura with two outs and nobody on. Hendricks working with a full count. Here is the pitch. That's popped up to center. Chasing. Oh, and it gets over Springer's head. Maybe he misjudged it. The throw goes into second, and that's going to be a double with two outs in the top of the seventh inning. So now McCutcheon is the batter. Top of the seventh still. We're going to have to warm up a different reliever. And in this case, what is Birdie's status? Well, he's at 38%. We're not really going to do that. What is Jimenez's status? He's at 67%. If we need to get one guy out to get out of this inning, it could easily be Jimenez. So now Hendricks working with two outs. Runner on second, tie ball game in the top of the seventh inning. Here's the 2-2 pitch. Swing and a miss for strike three. So Hendricks sets him down to end the inning. We go to the bottom of the seventh of a 2-2 ball game. And today, to lead the seventh inning stretch, we are going to have Derek May leading the seventh inning stretch for us here at Wrigley Field. Danny Santana is going to lead off for the Cubs in the bottom of the seventh inning. He's going to face a new Philly reliever, Daniel Hudson. Hudson has thrown seven and two-thirds innings. He has an 0-4 record, allowed five walks, seven strikeouts, and an ERA of 15.26. It's not very often that you see a four-digit ERA. Hudson now facing Santana in the bottom of the seventh inning. Here's the one and two count. And the pitch to Santana. Hudson looking for the sign, and he delivers. And a swing and a miss for strike three. So that is strikeout for out number one. Correa now the bat. One out, nobody on. Correa, oh, we need to warm up. We're gonna warm up Junior Fernandez. To throw in the top of the eighth inning? To the middle of the Phillies lineup? No. We're going to warm up Edwin Diaz to do that job. So now, Correa facing Hudson. One strike is the count. Here's the pitch. Popped up on the infield. The first baseman heading over. He makes the catch straddling the line for out number two. And now Bryce Harper's the batter. And Adam Morgan is coming out of the Phillies bullpen. 
He's thrown 24 and two thirds innings, walked 10, struck out 19 with a 4.01 ERA. Morgan facing Harper in a tie ball game in the bottom of the seventh inning. Full count pitch. Harper standing in. Morgan delivers. And swing and a miss for strike three. So Harper goes down swinging. That is going to end the inning. We go to the top of the eighth. It is a 2-2 tie. And Diaz is going to come into pitch for the Cubs in the top of the eighth inning. He is going to face the three, four, and five batters in the Phillies lineup. Diaz has thrown 34 and two-thirds innings, walked 11, struck out 64 with an ERA of 1.82. Diaz working with a one and two count. He is looking for the sign, and here is the pitch. Swing and a miss for strike three. Bohm comes up empty on a fastball at 95, and that brings up Real Muto. With one out, nobody on. Two strikes is the count. Diaz delivers, swing and a miss for strike three. Diaz with two strikeouts now in the inning. There's two outs and nobody on, and O'Neal is the next batter. Top of the eighth inning, Diaz working with a full count. Here it comes. Swing and a miss for strike three, and Diaz sets down the side on strikes. That was a fastball at 97. We were over the bottom of the eighth of a 2-2 tie. And now Morgan facing Springer in the bottom of the eighth inning. The Cubs need to get a run here to try to win this game in regulation. Springer waiting for the first pitch from Morgan. There's a grounder up the middle. Second baseman has it. He throws to first. That is out number one. Bryant now the batter. One out, nobody on. Bryant already hit a home, home run in yesterday's game. He's one for two today. Here's the one and two count and the pitch to Bryant. And he swings and misses for strike three. That was a sinker down and in, and Bryant chased it for out number two. Tauschman now the batter, and we are going to use another pinch hitter. In this case, the pinch hitter is going to be Miguel Amaya. No, you know what? This pinch hitter can be Thyro Estrada. That's who we'll use. So Estrada coming into pinch hit. He's going to bat from the right side against the lefty Morgan. Estrada has three home runs, 16 RBIs, and a 267 batting average. He is pinch hitting with two outs in the bottom of the eighth inning. Morgan working with a two ball count. Here is the pitch to Estrada, and he pops it up to center. Chasing is the center fielder. He's going to make the play, which will end the inning. So the Cubs do not score. We go to the top of the ninth of a 2-2 ball game. And Estrada, I believe, I mean, he kind of knows where left field is. Does he know better where left field is than, say, Chris Bryant? Oh, no, Chris Bryant is a much better left fielder. He's, a, he's twice as good of a left fielder. All right, so Estrada is going to stay in to play third. Bryant will go out and play left. And now Diaz is going to come out, and he's going to be working inning number two. We are going to warm up Scooball. And we are also going to warm up Jimenez. In the event that Diaz cannot work a scoreless ninth. So, 2-2 two, two tie, top of the ninth inning. Diaz facing Hazley to lead off for the Phillies. 3-0 count. Diaz delivering, and that is low for ball four. So the walk is issued to lead off the inning. It brings up Galvis. Galvis coming up. He is over three today. Facing Diaz with the go-ahead run on first and nobody out. We're going to visit the mound. Diaz says he feels good. He's only thrown 18 pitches. Here is the first pitch to Galvis. Diaz delivers. Popped up to center. Chasing is the center fielder, Springer, who makes the catch for out number one. So now Kingery is the batter with a runner on first and one out, top of the ninth inning. Kingery facing Diaz with a two-strike count. And a swing and a miss for strike three, and then the throw goes down to second. Do they finish the double play? No, they do not. So the runner is safe at second. 
Diaz gets his fourth strikeout of this appearance, and now Hoskins is the batter. Hoskins coming into pinch hit. He has 10 home runs, 17 RBIs, and a 211 batting average on the season. He's facing Diaz with two outs and a runner on second in the top of the ninth inning. And so Diaz has thrown 22 pitches. Jimenez could be brought in to face Hoskins in this situation. I feel like that's probably the right thing to do because I'm just going to pinch hit for him anyway. I really only want Jimenez to face one batter. We're going to sit down Scooball. We're going to bring in Jimenez, who's going to pay the pitch to the pinch hitter, Hoskins, here in the top of the ninth inning. Jimenez has thrown 29 and two-thirds innings, walked seven, struck out 42, with a 3.03 ERA. He is facing Hoskins with the go-ahead run on second and two outs in the top of the ninth inning. Here is the one and two count, and Jimenez looking for the sign and delivering the pitch. There's a swing and a miss to end the inning. So the runner is stranded. We go to the bottom of the ninth of a 2-2 tie. And Ramos leading off against Zach Elfin, who is coming out of the Phillies' bullpen to pitch in the bottom of the ninth inning. Elfin has thrown 38 innings, walked 10, struck out 38, with a 6.87 ERA. And in case you're wondering, Elfin strikes out exactly one batter per inning on average. Ramos facing Elfin with a one-strike count. Elfin looking for the sign and he delivers the pitch. And there's a pop-up in foul territory. Chasing is the third baseman. He makes the catch, crowd number one. So now we need a pinch hitter for the pitcher's spot. And this is going to be Miguel Amaya. Amaya comes up to pinch hit. He has seven home runs, 22 RBIs, and a 280 batting average on the season. Amaya facing Elton with one out at the bottom of the ninth inning. Two and two is the count. Here's the pitch. And Amaya swings and misses for strike three. So he cannot make contact. We go now to Nico Horn. Oh, and we need to warm Scooball back up also. Because he is going to be pitching in extra innings if that's what ends up happening. Corner facing Elton with two outs in the bottom of the ninth inning. One and one is the count. Here is the pitch to Horner, and he grounds that one a hot shot to third base. The throw goes to first, and that's gonna end the inning. So the Cubs do not score. We go to the top of the 10th of a 2-2 tie. And now, Squall is coming in to pitch for the Cubs. He, well, he's at 88%. He hasn't pitched in the last three days. So Scooball coming in to face Segura and the top of the Phillies lineup in the top of the 10th inning. Scooball working with a one and one count. He is looking for the sign and delivering the pitch. And there's a pop up to center. Coming in is Springer. He looks up and he makes the play for out number one. Scooball now facing McCutcheon with one out, nobody on. Here is the one and one count and the pitch to McCutcheon. There's a drive to left center field. That one is gonna leave the ballpark. The Phillies have a 3-2 lead in the top of the 10th inning as Scooball gives up the 412 foot home run in the top of the 10th. And now Bohm is the batter. One out, nobody on. Scooball working. Two and two is the count. Here is the pitch to Alec Bohm and there's a swing and a miss for strike three. That's out number two, a nasty slider there by Scooball for the second out of the inning. Real Muto now the batter. He is one for four today. Facing Scooball with two outs, nobody on. Two strikes is the count. Here's the pitch. Grounded up the middle. Short stop has it. He throws to first, and that'll end the inning. But not before the Phillies take the lead. 3-2 in the top of the 10th inning. And Sir Anthony Dominguez coming into the pitch for the Phillies to try to nail down the save here in the 10th inning. Dominguez has a 2-0 record. He has 16 and two-thirds innings thrown, seven walks, nine strikeouts, and an ERA of 1.10. So Dominguez facing Danny Santana here in the top of the 10th inning. Santana 
batting from the left side against the righty Dominguez. Here's a 2-2 count and the pitch to Santana. Dominguez looking for the sign. And here's the pitch. And a swing and a miss for strike three. That is out number one. Fastball at 95, and he chased it outside the zone there. Correa now the batter. One out, nobody on. Dominguez working. Full count. Here's the pitch to Correa. That is strike three called. That looked low to me, but apparently it was too close to take. So now the fastball at 101 miles an hour sets down Correa, and that brings up Bryce Harper with two outs and nobody on. Dominguez facing Harper with the Cubs down to their final out. Here is the one strike count and the pitch to Harper. And he drives that one to right field. I think that just tied up the ball game. Bryce Harper with a solo home run in the bottom of the 10th inning. And we now have a 3-3 tie, 406 feet down the right field line. Harper really got around on that ball. That was a fastball at 95, and Harper timed it perfectly. So now George Springer is the batter. With two outs and nobody on. Springer facing Dominguez here in the bottom of the 10th. The tying run is already scored. Here is the one ball count and the pitch to George Springer. And he lines that one right at the first baseman for the third out of the inning. So the Cubs do tie the ball game. We're going to the top of the 11th of a three-all tie. Scooball now facing Tyler O'Neill in the top of the 11th inning. Scooball worked in the 10th. He is now going to work with a full count pitch to Tyler O'Neill, and that is low for ball four. So O'Neill takes his base, and Hazley is the batter. Top of the 11th, one man on, nobody out. Here's the two and one count and the pitch to Hazley. And a liner into center field coming in fast to Springer. He's going to play it on a hop. O'Neill stops at second. Now the Phillies have the first two men on base here in the top of the 11th inning. And now we're going to have to warm up Junior Fernandez. And we're also going to warm up Blake Taylor. That should become necessary. We're going to come out to the mound and talk to Mr. Scooball, and he says, you know, I'm still feeling good here. Galvis facing Scooball with two men on, nobody out in the top of the 11th inning. Here is the one strike count, and Scooball delivers. Grounder towards short, and it's bobbled. Correa kicks it, and everybody's gonna be safe. That was a tailor-made double play ground ball, and now the bases are loaded with nobody out. Scooball now facing Kingery in the top of the 11th inning. He has a real jam to work his way out of here. Scooball facing Kingery with a two and one count. And there's a pop up to short right field coming in as Harper. Are they gonna test his arm? The throw goes to the cutoff man and there is no attempt to tag up and score. So one out now and Nicky Matuk comes in to bat for the Phillies. He has six home runs, 20 RBIs, and a 333 batting average on the season. Junior Fernandez is ready to come in out of the bullpen. Scooball has really been struggling. He's thrown 31 pitches, and he is getting tired, it looks like. So I think I'm just going to have to hold my breath and bring in Junior Fernandez with the bases loaded one out in the top of the 11th inning. He is going to face... Mickey Matu and try to get us out of this inning. Junior Fernandez has thrown 39 in the third innings, walked 17, struck out 54 with a 3.43 ERA. He comes in with three runners inherited and one out in the top of the 11. Here is the first pitch to Matu. Junior Fernandez looking for the sign and delivering the pitch. And a ground ball up the middle. The pitcher has it. He throws home for one. The throw to first. And they do not complete the double play. Man, that was a bang-bang play over at first. But the runner is cut down trying to score. There are now two outs in the bases loaded. And Segura is the next batter. He's two for four today. It's the top of the 11th inning. The bases are loaded with two outs. Fernandez facing Segura in the top of the 11th inning. We're going to set down Blake Taylor. 
Fernandez working. Here's the 2-2 count and the pitch. And Segura takes strike three looking. And somehow, by some miracle, the Cubs escape that jam. With the bases loaded, nobody out. There are no runs that scored in that inning. We're going to the bottom of the 11th. It is a 3-3 tie. And now Ranger Suarez is coming out of the Phillies bullpen. He has thrown 37 innings, walked 11, struck out 41 with a 268 ERA. Suarez is going to face Bryant, Estrada, and Ramos here in the bottom of the 11th inning. Suarez working. Three and one is the count. Here's the pitch to Bryant. And that is low for ball four. So Chris Bryant draws the walk. And that means now that we are going to get a pinch run. It is going to be Carl Chester. He is going to head over to first and pinch run for Bryant. And then he's going to stay in the game and play left field. <clears throat> Excuse me. With Chester on first and Estrada the batter, Estrada will be looking to lay down the sacrifice here in the bottom of the 11th inning. Estrada, well, you know, I mean, he's not an awful hitter, but we still need to try, we gotta try to score it. So he's gonna bunt, here it comes. He lays down the bunt, down the third baseline. The third baseman has it. They throw to second and they get the lead runner. How does that even happen? He was a, he's the fastest guy on this team. How did they get the lead runner? Okay, so Ramos now the batter with Estrada on first and one out. And Suarez working in the bottom of the 11th inning. Ramos swinging away at the 1-1 pitch. Suarez delivers. There's a pop-up to right. That is going to be caught as the right fielder chases toward the line. He makes the play for out number two. And now we need to have Blake Taylor ready to come into this game. And we are going to pinch hit. For Junior Fernandez, and this is going to be the last man off the bench, Erie Adrianza. He is going to pinch it with the winning run on first and two outs here in the bottom of the 11th inning. Adrianza facing Suarez. Here is the one strike count in the pitch, and there's a pop up to center. Chasing is the center fielder. He's going to come in and make the play to end the inning. So the Cubs. Do not score. They strand a runner. We're going to the top of the 12th of a 3-3 ball game. And Blake Taylor will be brought in. He is going to pitch in the top of the 12th inning. Taylor is going to face McCutcheon, Bohm, and Real Muto in the top of the 12th. Two strikes is the count. Blake Taylor looking for the sign and he delivers the pitch. That is strike three called. That was right on the outside corner. McCutcheon strikes out on the fastball and lead off the inning. Bohm now the batter, one out, nobody on. Taylor working with a one strike count. Here comes the pitch. Grounder towards short, bouncing ball. Correa has it, he throws to first for out number two. Real Muto now the batter with two outs and nobody on. Taylor working, 3-0 count. Here comes the pitch. Inside for ball four, so Real Muto draws the walk. However, he is dead slow, and that brings up Tyler O'Neill with two outs and the runner on first. Taylor needs to focus on getting O'Neill out right here. One ball is the count. Here is the pitch to Tyler O'Neill, and it's grounded towards short. Picked up, thrown to second to get the lead runner and end the inning. So we're going now to the bottom of the 12th inning of a 3-3 tie. Corner facing Suarez in the bottom of the 12th. Suarez, who threw a, threw a scoreless inning in the 11th. Corner with a two and one count, waiting for the pitch. And he pops that one up to right center. Chasing is the right fielder. He gets under it to make the play for out number one. Santana now the batter. He's batting from the right side. He is one for five today, facing Suarez in the bottom of the 12th inning. One out, nobody on. Santana waiting for the one and two pitch. Here it comes. Grounded past the first baseman down the right field line. Santana's going to have extra bases. He rounds second, heading for third. Excuse me, sliding into second with a double 
with one out the bottom of the 12th inning. So Santana in scoring position, and that brings up Correa. With one out and the winning run on base, Correa facing Suarez here in the bottom of the 12th inning. Here is the one ball count, and Correa is going to be walked. So the intentional walk to Correa brings up Bryce Harper. With one out, runners on first and second. Harper, who is two for three with a home run in today's game. Harper facing Suarez with a one and two count. Here is the pitch. And he swings and misses for strike three. That was a sinker. And that is the second out of the inning. That brings up George Springer with two outs and two men on. Suarez facing Springer. Bottom of the 12th. One and two is the count. Here comes the pitch. Grounded towards short. Picked up, thrown to second. And that'll end the inning. So the Cubs strand two, they do not score. We're going to the top of the 13th inning of a 3-3 tie. Blake Taylor is gonna work to the lower half of the Phillies lineup in the top half of the 13th inning. Taylor with a full count. He is looking for the sign and delivering the pitch. There's a swing and a miss for strike three. Taylor bringing some gas at 94. And now Freddie Galvis the bat. One out, nobody on. Galvis facing Taylor with a one and two count. Here is the pitch. And that is strike three called on the outside corner. That is a fastball at 95. And that is out number two. Kingery now the bat. Two outs and nobody on. Taylor working with a one and two count. Here comes the pitch. And popped up to center. Chasing is Springer. He comes in fast and he makes the running catch to end the inning. So Taylor with two scoreless innings of relief. We go now to the bottom of the 13th of a 3-3 tie. And we are going to have to warm up. Let's see, we're gonna warm up Moya in case we go to the 14th inning. Carl Chester is gonna lead off against Victor Arano here in the bottom of the 13th inning. Arano, the righty, facing Chester, the righty, in the bottom of the 13th inning. Tie ball game. Here comes the first pitch to Chester. And he pops it up to right. Chasing is the right fielder, kind of toward right center. He makes the play for out number one. Estrada now the batter with one out and nobody on. Arano working to Estrada. Here's the first pitch. And he grounds it over to second. Picked up and thrown over to first. That's out number two. Wilson Ramos now the batter. He is one for four today. Facing Arano in the bottom of the 13th inning. Two outs and nobody on. Arano working with a one strike count. Here comes the pitch. And a grounder towards short. Picked up and thrown over to first and that's gonna end the inning. So the Cubs go down in order. We go to the top of the 14th inning of a 3-3 tie. And Blake Taylor Blake Taylor is going to be allowed to throw to the pitcher Aranya, and then we'll bring in Moya to work to the top of the lineup. We're also going to warm up Birdie in case Moya needs to be bailed out. Taylor now working to Aranya with a full count. Here comes the pitch, and that is low for ball four. So Taylor walks the opposing pitcher to lead off the inning. Moya will now be brought in to pitch. He is going to work with a runner on first, nobody out in the top of the 14th inning. Segura is the batter. The go-ahead run is on first. Here's the one ball count. Moya looking for the sign and delivering the pitch. There's a grounder toward third. Picked up, thrown to first. That's going to be out number one. The runner advances to second. And now McCutcheon is the batter. With one out and a runner on the scoring position, Birdie is ready to come in. I don't know if this is the right situation to bring Birdie in. He is at 38%. But I don't really trust Moya. And we've got a runner in scoring position. And, you know, if, if Birdie 
Well, basically, if we don't win this game in the bottom of the 14th inning, we're going to have to bring in a starter to pitch somehow anyway. So Moya now facing McCutcheon. And with Birdie ready, I think we just got to bring him in. I know Moya's only thrown two pitches. But the next couple batters that are coming up, I just don't see if we're going to have any chance of winning this game. There's already a runner on second. Birdie's going to come in to pitch. He's going to face McCutcheon with a runner on second, one out in the top of the 14th inning. One and two is the count. Birdie looking for the sign. And he delivers. And that is strike three called on the inside corner. So that's out number two. That was a fastball at 98, and that brings up Alec Bowen with two outs and the runner on second. Birdie working to Bowen with a one and two count. Here comes the pitch. And a grounder towards short. Correa charges. He makes the play, and he throws it away. The defense, again, betraying the Cubs. However, the runner at third must have fallen asleep because he stops rather than trying to score. So now Birdie has to face Real Muto. With runners on the corners and two outs, here in the top of the 14th inning. Birdie working to Real Muto with a full count. Here is the pitch. And there's a pop-up to center. Springer chasing, and he makes the play to end the inning. So thankfully, the runs do not score. We go to the bottom of the 14th of a 3-3 tie. And now, so we can warm up Suter. He would be tomorrow's starter. We can warm up Archer, who's at 41%. I think what we're going to do is we're going to warm up Archer to potentially come into this ball. So now, Birdie leading off against Aranio in the bottom of the 14th inning. And do we have... So what pitcher do we have available that can hit moderately well? Do any of them? If we look at their batting stats, I mean... Archer is batting 138. And Nola, if we look at his batting stats, he's batting 133. And then if we look at Sale, Sale is batting 048. He's in and then Suter. Oh, there we go. Suter is batting zero. I just don't think it matters. I think we may as well pinch hit with. Well, we gotta let Archer warm up. We'll pinch hit with Nola. Which is probably a slight improvement over Birdie. Because he's at least seen at bats in a major league game this season. Nola, pinch hitting for the pitcher's spot. Here in the bottom of the 14th inning. Two and two is the count. Here's the pitch to Nola. And he swings and misses for strike three. So that's the first out of the inning. And it brings up Nico Horner. With one out, nobody on. Aranjo facing Horner. Here is the first pitch. Aranjo delivers. And Horner pops it up to short right field. Chasing is the right fielder. He makes the play for out number two. And now Santana's the batter. With two outs and nobody on. Aranjo facing Santana, who's batting from the left side. He is two for six today. Two strikes is the count. Here is the pitch to Santana, and he grounds it towards short. The throw goes over to first, and Santana's retired to end the inning. So we're going to the top of the 15th inning. It is a 3-3 tie. And now, Chris Archer is going to come in and do the pitching here in the 15th inning. Archer... Oops, we have to put him in as the pitcher. Okay, there we go. So Archer coming in, he has thrown 94 innings, has a 7-5 record, 34 walks, 83 strikeouts, and a 373 ERA. Archer's going to face Tyler O'Neill in a tie ball game in the top of the 15th inning. Archer looking for the sign, and he is going to deliver the first pitch to Tyler O'Neill. Here it comes. Grounder up the middle, second baseman has it. He throws to first, that's out number one. Paisley now the batter with one out, nobody on. Archer working with a two strike count. Here comes the pitch. 
and a swing and a miss for strike three. So Hazley chases the high fastball for up number two. Galvis now on the bat, two outs and nobody on. Archer working with a one and two count. Here comes the pitch. And there's a grounder toward first. Rizzo has it. He steps on the base to end the inning. So the Phillies go down in order. We go to the bottom of the 15th of a 3-3 tie. Correa facing Aranio. Here in the bottom of the 15th inning, I'm curious to know, the Phillies, they have one guy left, Reggie McClain in their bullpen, and then they have to go to a start. So Correa facing Aranio in the bottom of the 15th inning. Correa, who is one for five today, waiting for the full count pitch. Here it comes. And he's hit by the pitch. So Correa gets hit by the pitch. He heads down to first. And now he represents the winning run as Bryce Harper comes up to the plate. And McLean is coming in out of the bullpen for the Phillies. He has thrown 65 innings, walked 26, struck out 55 with a 346 ERA. He's going to face Bryce Harper who is two for four with a home run, two RBIs in this ballgame. Bottom of the 15th inning, runner on first, nobody out. Here's the 2-2 pitch to Bryce Harper. McLean looking for the sign, and he delivers. And that's a pop-up to right. Chasing is the right fielder toward his right. He makes the catch for out number one. And now Springer is the batter with one out, one man on. Springer facing McLean with a one and one count. Here comes the pitch. And he grounds it up the middle. That's going to be a single into center. Horner rounding first or rounding second and stopping. Or Correa, excuse me. He stops at second. So now the Cubs have first and second with one out. And Carl Chester is the next batter. He is going to be asked to lay down the sacrifice. And who knows? Maybe he will even get a bunt hit out of this deal. But we're going to try to advance the runners on this play. Here is the bunt attempt. He lays down the bunt back toward the mound. The throw goes to first, and he beats it out for an infield single. Look at that. So Chester with the bunt single in the bottom of the 15th inning, and now with one out, the bases are loaded, and Thyro Estrada is the batter for the Cubs. McLean facing Estrada with the bases loaded, one out, tie ball game in the 15th inning. Here is the first pitch to Estrada, and he hits it on the ground. The throw comes home, the relay to first, and that is a 6-2-3 double play with the infield drawn in, and the game goes to the 16th inning of a 3-3 tie. Archer coming out for inning of work number two. He's going to face Kingery here in the top of the 16th inning. Here's a full count as Archer looks to deliver the pitch. And that is outside for ball four. So the walk is issued. And now Herrera is the batter. And apparently that's all the Archer really had was 15 pitches. I'm surprised how fast that went. So we warm up Suter. Why is it? Oh, I see. Yeah, we're going to warm up Brent Suter, I suppose. So Archer facing Herrera with a runner on first, nobody out. Here is the one and two count. Archer delivers the pitch. That's a swing and a miss for strike three. Out number one is recorded in the top of the 16th inning. And now Segura is the batter. With a with runner on first and one out, we're going to throw over first because Kingery... Yeah, he's kind of fast over there at first. We're going to throw over to first, see if Archer can pick him off. Nope. All right, nothing to do in there. Let's pitch to the batter, see what happens. Archer with the pitch. Check swing outside. Ball one. Pitch to the batter again. One ball count. That's a strike. Fastball at 92 right there. And now, is this the right situation for pitch out? It probably is. I'll bet this in the runner. Now let's pitch out and see what happens. Pitch out, the runner does not go. So that's a two and one count now. Pitching high for ball three. Three and one count. And Segura. We're going to 
and visit the mound, talk to Archer. He says, I can feel the throbbing in my arm. Suter is ready, so Suter will be brought in to face McCutcheon. Three and one is the count. Work's going to issue the intentional walk here. We don't want Archer to really throw another pitch or take a chance at losing the ball game. And now Kent McCutcheon comes up, and this is going to be Suter's chance to come in and shine. He is going to pitch to McCutcheon with one out, runners on first and second. Here is the pitch from Suter, and there's a liner down the right field line, but foul. And so now, we switch this over to one pitch by pitch, or one pitch by. One and two is the count, and Suter, ground ball, the throw goes over to first, and that's out number two. The infield was drawn in, or at least Bryant was playing in, I guess, close. So now, with two outs, there's runners on second and third. Bohm is the batter in the top of the 16th inning. Suter working. Here is the pitch. And there's a drive to left going back and making the catch is Chester to end the inning. So the Phillies strand two. They do not score. We're going to the bottom of the 16th inning of a 3-3 top. And Wilson Ramos is going to face Nick Pavetta. So the Phillies have now dug into their... No, Pavetta is still a reliever. What is going on here? I thought they'd used all their... No. Pavetta is a starter. Why is he... Well, it says that he's thrown three and four days ago. Maybe the Phillies threw... Well, no, he's in the rotation. He's showing as a starting pitcher, but he's only pitched out of the bullpen this year. I don't understand. So Ramos now is the batter. He's leading off for the Cubs in the bottom of the 16th inning of a 3-3 tie. Here's the 2 and one pitch to Wilson Ramos. Pavetta looking for the sign and delivering the pitch. There's a grounder towards second. Picked up and thrown to first. That's out number one. Suter now is going to have to bat for himself. Bottom of the 16th inning, one out. Suter facing Pavetta. Here is the pitch. He grounds it up the middle. Pitcher has it. He throws to first. That's out number two. So now Nico Horner is the batter. Two outs, nobody on. Pavetta facing Horner. Here is the first pitch to Nico Horner, and he pops it up to center field. Chasing is the center fielder. He's going to make the catch and end the inning. We're going to the top of the 17th inning of a 3-3 tie. Suter facing Real Muto here in the top of the 17th inning. 3-1 and one is the count. Suter delivers, and there's a pop-up behind second base going out and then coming in is Springer. He calls off the second baseman and makes the catch for out number one. Suter now facing Tyler O'Neill. One out, nobody on. Two and two is the count. Here is the pitch. Lined into center field. This time Springer makes the sliding catch for out number two. And Hazley is the next batter. Suter working with two outs and nobody on. Here is the first pitch to Hazley. Suter delivers. Grounded towards short. Correa has it. He throws to first, and that'll end the inning. So the Phillies go down in order. We go down to the bottom of the 17th inning of a 3-3 tie. Pavetta facing Santana in the bottom of the 17th. Two and two is the count. Here's the pitch. And Santana swings and misses for strike three. That is out number one. Correa now the batter. One out, nobody on. Pavetta working with a 2-2 count. Here is the pitch to Correa. And there's a grounder up the middle. Shortstop has it. He throws to first. That's out number two. Bryce Harper now the batter. Two for five on the day with a home run. Harper facing Pavetta. Bottom of the 17th inning of a 3-3 tie. There's two outs and nobody on. Pavetta working with a one and two count. Here is the pitch to Harper. And he swings and misses to end the inning. So we are going to the top of the 18th inning. It is still tied at three here in Chicago. Suter facing Freddie Galvis in the top of the 18th inning. Two and two is the count. Suter delivers. There's a drive into the gap in left center field. That is going to one hop to the wall. Springer chasing. He throws the ball into second. That is a leadoff double for Freddie Galvis in the top of the 18th. So with Galvis on first, Kingery now is the batter. One man on, nobody out. Suter working. Here's the first pitch to Kingery. Grounder toward third. 
chasing is Estrada. He throws over to first after looking the runner back. That's one out in the inning. Duran now the batter, one out, one man on. Duran pinch hitting for the pitcher's spot. <clears throat> Excuse me. With one out and runner in scoring position. Suter working with a one and two count. Here is the pitch to Duran. And a swing and a miss for strike three. That is the second out of the inning. A big slider there by Suter, and that brings up Segura. <clears throat> Segura, two for six on the day. Amazing Suter in the top of the 18th. Two outs, one man on. Suter working with a one ball count. Here's the pitch, and a pop up to center. Springer is chasing. He goes back and he makes the catch to end the inning. So we're going now to the bottom of the 18th of a 3-3 tie. This now qualifies as a double header, even though it's a single game. Springer now is gonna face you, Darvish. Darvish coming into the game has thrown 77 innings, walked 30, struck out 92 with an ERA that I am not gonna say over the radio. Darvish working to Springer. Two and two is the count. Springer waiting for the pitch. Darvish looking for the sign and the delivery. There's a grounder towards second. Picked up, thrown over to first. That's out number one. Chester now the batter. One out, nobody on. Darvish working with a one strike count. Here's the pitch to Carl Chester and he lines that one toward the first baseman. Plays it on a hop. Steps on the base for out number two. Estrada now the batter. Two outs and nobody on. Darvish working with a one and two count. Here is the pitch to Estrada. And he grounds it toward first. Picked up by the first baseman. Stepping on the bag again for the third out of the inning. So we are going to the top of the 19th inning of a 3-3 tie. And Brent Suter is going to continue to pitch. Because there's Chris Sale left. And that's it. <clears throat> Excuse me. We will visit the mound and give Sale a chance to get warmed up. Suter facing McCutcheon in the top of the 19. One and one is the count. Suter delivers. And there's a pop-up behind second base. Chasing his Horner, he makes the catch for out number one. Bohm now the batter. One out, nobody on. Suter working with a full count. Here is the pitch to Bohm. And he gets strike three called. Oh my. That looked like it was outside. Strike three is called. And now Real Muto is the batter. With two outs and nobody on, Suter working. First pitch to Real Muto. Here it comes, and he hits him. So Real Muto is hit by the pitch. He heads down to first. That was a 66-mile-an-hour curveball. And now Tyler O'Neill is the batter. Suter facing O'Neill, and Sale is going to be brought in to pitch. We have now officially used all 25 players in this ballgame. Sale coming in to face O'Neill with two outs and runner on first in the top of the 19th inning. Sale working with a one and two count. Here is the pitch to Tyler O'Neill. Sale delivers a swing and a miss for strike three and that ends the inning. So the runner does not score. We're going to the bottom of the 19th of a 3-3 tie. Ramos facing Darvish in the bottom of the 19th. Ramos waiting for the two strike count. Here's the pitch and he lines it into right. That's gonna be caught, however, for the first out of the inning. Sale now batting against Darvish. Sale, who is one for 21 on the season, but he does have the lefty righty matchup working to his advantage here in the bottom of the 19th inning. One out, Darvish waiting for the, or delivering the two ball count. And there's a grounder toward third, picked up, thrown over to first, and that's two outs in the inning. Horner now the batter with two outs and nobody on. Darvish working. Here is the first pitch to Nico Horner. And there's a grounder in front of the plate. The catcher has it. He throws to first, and that will end the inning. So the Cubs go down in order. We go to the top of the 20th inning of a 3-3 tie. Hazley facing Sale to lead off for the Phillies in the top of the 20th. Here's the one strike count. Sale delivering the pitch. Popped up to center field. Chasing his Springer. He makes the catch for out number one. I just want to point out 
It is 2.54 in the morning here in Chicago. Freddie Galvis now facing Sale with one out, nobody on. Two and one is the count. Here comes the pitch from Sale. And there's a liner in the center field. That's going to be a base hit. Springer gets it into the cutoff, man. That is a one-out single for the Phillies. I think this is a great reason why all games should be started at 1.20 in the afternoon. Kangaroo now the batter, facing Sale with one out, one man on. Sale needs a double play ground ball right here. Let's see if he can get it. One and one is the count. Here's the pitch. Popped up behind shortstop. He makes the play in short left field for out number two. So now Darvish is batting with a runner on first two outs in the top of the 20. Three and one is the count. Here's the pitch, and Darvish takes low for ball four. So the walk is issued. That was the path to getting out of this inning. Now Sale has to face Segura with two outs and two men on. Sale working. Here is the pitch. Lined towards second base. Horner grabs it to end the inning. Man, that was hard hit, but Horner made about two steps to his left and got a glove on it to end the inning. So the Phillies strand two. We go to the bottom of the 20th of a 3-3 tie, and Danny Santana is gonna lead off for the Cubs. This is his ninth at bat of the game. He is two for eight on the day, facing Hugh Darvish in the bottom of the 20th. One and two is the count, here's the pitch. Santana checks the swing, but that is strike three call. First out of the inning. And now, Correa facing Darvish with one out, nobody on. Correa waiting for the full count pitch. Darvish looking for the sign and delivering. That is low for ball four. So Correa draws the walk with one out and brings up Bryce Harper. Harper facing Darvish with one out. Runner on first, bottom of the 20th. Harper two for six on the day. Here's the two strike count and the pitch to Harper. Here it comes. And he takes strike three looking on the outside corner. That was a cutter for strike three. And now Darvish is gonna face George Springer with two outs and the runner still on first. Bottom of the 20th. Here's the 2-2 count and the pitch and Springer pops it up to center. Chasing is the center fielder. He makes the play to end the inning. So we're going to the top of the 21st inning of a 3-3 tie. Sale still on the mound. Facing McCutcheon, here's the 2-2 count. Sale looking for the sign and delivering the pitch. And there's a drive, deep left center field. That is gonna leave the ballpark. McCutcheon has untied this game. It is now 4-3 in the top of the 21st inning. Sale facing Bohm, Cubs down by one. Here is the two ball count and the pitch to Alec Bohm. And that's a drive. Deep left center field, Chester chasing. He's gonna run out of room, and that is back-to-back -back home runs in the top of the 21st inning. And now this is a 5-3 ball game, and the remaining fans are starting to boo here a little bit. Sale now facing Real Muto with two runs already in. Sale delivering the pitch. Grounded towards short, picked up and thrown over to first. That is an out is recorded, 6-3, first of the inning. O'Neal now the batter, one out, nobody on. Sale working with a one and one count. Here is the pitch to O'Neal, and there's a drive. Left center field, going back is Springer. He looks up and it is gone. Three home runs in the inning, and the Phillies now have a three run lead in the top of the 21st inning. Hazley is the batter, he's facing Sale with one out, nobody on. Here's the one strike count, Sale delivering the pitch. And he hits him. So that puts the runner on first with one out and brings up Freddie Galvis. One out, one man on, one and two is the count. Sale delivers, the throw goes down to second and he is gonna be out. No, he's safe? What? How did Hazley beat the throw? I don't understand that. All right, Galvis facing Sale with two Two count, runner on second, one out. Here is the pitch from Sale. And he delivers. There's a liner into right, chasing his Harper. He's gonna play it on a hop. Another run's gonna score. The throw comes home, but it's gonna be late. And now this is a seven to three lead in the top of the 21st inning. 
RBI single for Galvis, and that brings up Kingering. With a one and two count, Sale looking for the sign, delivering the pitch. There's a liner in the right. Again, Harper plays it on a hop. The throw goes into the cutoff man. Phillies now have runners in the corners with one out, and Darvish is the batter. Here is the first pitch to you, Darvish. He drives it in the left, chasing his Chester. He plays it on the hop. The throw goes to third. Another run is in. This is now an eight to three ball game. Five runs are in, Sale facing Segura. One out, two men on. Here comes the pitch. Popped up to center. Chasing his Springer, he comes in and he makes the play for out number two. McCutcheon now the batter. Sale working with two outs, two men on. Two and two is the count. And the ball gets away, that's a wild pitch. That's gonna put runners on second and third with two outs. And now Sale facing McCutcheon with a full count. Here it comes. Right Swing and a miss to end the inning. Five runs, however, score as the Cubs go into the bottom of the 21st inning, down 8-3. Darvish still on the mound. He's going to face Carl Chester to lead off the inning. One ball is the count. Chester waiting for the pitch. Here it comes. And he drives it into the gap in left center field. Chasing is the center fielder, but he makes the play for out number one. So now, Estrada's the batter, one out, nobody on. Full count pitch to Thyro Estrada. Darvish delivers, that's high for ball four. So the walk is issued with one out, and Wilson Ramos is the next batter. One out, one man on. Darvish delivering the pitch to Ramos, here it comes. Lined up the middle, that's a base hit. So now the Cubs have two men on. Here in the bottom of the 21st inning, Sale is the next batter. He's facing Darvish. Here comes the first pitch to Chris Sale. And that's a pop up to right, deep, but playable. The right fielder is there, he makes the catch. The runner is gonna tag up and advance to third. So now the Cubs have runners in the corners and two outs. And Nico Horner is the batter. He's facing Darvish in the bottom of the 21st inning. Cubs down by five, two runs on base. One strike is the count, here's the pitch to Horner. And he grounds it up the middle. Second baseman has it. The throw goes over to first, and this game mercifully has ended. The Phillies getting eight runs on 16 hits with one error. The Cubs five runs on 13 hits with two errors. So the Phillies are triumphant. Lance McCullers is the player of the game. He went six innings of four run four hit one run baseball with two walks two strikeouts Hendricks charged with the blown save Diaz Jimenez Scubal all allowed all pitched and then Fernandez Taylor Moya Birdie Archer Suter Sale I mean there was a lot of guys that got into this game Alec Bohm sets the record for at bats in a game at nine Horner set a record there were all kinds of records set. McCutcheon tied a record with five strikeouts. Ten at-bats in the game. So anyway, the Phillies improved to 43-41 and 41 as the Cubs fall to 54-32. and 32. Thank you for watching Replacement Player Baseball.